hey what's up guys in this video we're going to talk about css float property so the css float property is used to specify how an element should be float and it is mainly used for positioning and formatting element in the web page like an example we have the image and the paragraph inside the div container now we can use the float and we can position that element like an example we can select the image tag and then we can use the float property and the float property has so many different value we can use the float left property and now you can see the image is floated left of the div container and it is sitting side by side the paragraph and also we can use the float property of right and now you can see the image is floating right of the div container side by side the paragraph and also the float value can be none and now the element will not float and it will appear in the normal flow of the web page and also we can have the value as inherit and now the element will inherit its property from the parent element and next we are going to talk about the clear property so the clear property it is to specify what should happen with the element that is next to the floating element like an example we have the image and we are gonna float it to the right of the element and now we are gonna select the paragraph element and we can use the clear property and we can specify how the paragraph will be visible which is beside the floated image element so the clear property can have the value as none and this is the default value so the clear none will allow the paragraph to stay beside the floated image element and also we can use clear right so now you can see the element is pushed down so the clear right what it will do it will make sure that there is no floated element right side of the paragraph so because there was the floated image element that's why the paragraph is pushed down and also suppose we have the image which is floated left of the paragraph now we can use the clear left and we can make sure that there is no floated element left side of the paragraph so because there was the floated image in the left side that's why the paragraph has been pushed below the floated image element and also we can use the clear both so the clear both will make sure that there will be no floated element left side or right side of the paragraph element so this is the way we can use the float property and we can position our element in the left side or in the right side of the container and also we can use the clear property and we can make sure that there are no floating element in the left side or in the right side or in both the side of the selected element and this way we can use the float and the clear property and we can format and position the element in the web page so hope you understand the concept we'll see you in the next one thank you